are working yet? Well, I'm starting to now. I'm just going to set up the date and time because the time's right, but the date is the year 2019. <laughs> so you installed your uh, card and installed your memory just to fucking have it working in stock condition right now because you had to pretty much reformat the whole thing, right? I did. I had to format of my C drive. I'm running two hard drives, the C drive and my D drive. My C drive is my 2 gig, which will have all my operating system files and software on it. The D drive is my 8 gig, which will have all my files, pictures, Subaru junk, all my personal stuff on it will be on that. And so you're basically back to where you started. You still got to install the memory and still got to install the video card. Yep. So now here goes my device or my driver file. So Unscrew the monitor cable, then plug it back in and screw it back on. It's like he couldn't figure that out. Shit. You'd already had that done before you bothered reading instructions. When you have replaced the old display card with your new card and have restarted your computer, the system will recognize the new hardware you have installed and prompt you to install the dri device drivers for it. So now I will proceed to shut down my computer. Actually, if we didn't chuck it out in the chief's yard, we can compare it to make sure. Wow, that thing did. It just like slides right in like it's a wet, like it's a wet fish slipping out of your hands. Hell no. Screw this baby down. <laughs> now my monitor cable is securely fastened. Let's see what happens. Keep them crawling. Well, now search for plug and play devices on your system. It didn't work, did it? No. You gotta take that fucker back. Yeah, just fucking shut her down, take out that fucking video card, then install your memory. Take that shit back. Just tell them it wasn't compatible. Just say you, pl you plugged it in, you didn't get no video, you installed the drivers manually. When you plug it back in, it said unknown device, and it couldn't find the driver for it. It wouldn't find the one off the CD. And I guess it's just not compatible with this shit. About to go get some fucking computer shit that works this time. The computer took a power duke on me. <laughs> the lock up. Somebody steal my dog, my dog, hurt my dog. Quiet! Yeah, no harm my dog. Officer Bruce said in the stairway as he escorted hey. me down to his police car. And I said, <laughs> Quiet! My cousin fell down. Yeah, I guess he fell down. He didn't know whether to laugh or cry. He said, Ew, a cigarette. <laughs> Here we are, next to the radio shack, around the corner of the Butler Library. Of course, the police station. Yeah, it's a fine day in Butler indeed. What Wheeler? So we're about to go to Napaco, get some cigarettes. Yep. There's the Butler Post Neephysis. Post Neephys. There's the radio shack off. <laughs> the what? The what? <laughs> the radio shack off. And there is 106 Broadway behind this nice tree for privacy. Too bad the police station wasn't on this side of the building. Modub's old uh, office. And right in the up around this corner is the Butler License Branch. See, around here in Indiana, cigarettes are $3. And gas is two dollars. Gas cheaper out there? Fuck no, gas is like a two and a quarter and two thirty and shit. <laughs> Fucking cigarettes are four dollars and sixty cents. Whoa, I'm tethered to the car. <laughs> well, I'll go and you have business with you. How you doing? Not too bad. How's it going? Fine. You don't mind, do you? Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That guy from Wisconsin was like, oh, doing a film about us and shit, so I thought we'd make a film of our own. And 
Seventeen. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good yep. day. In the same fucking spot, don't you think? Butler Library. That was pretty easy to get out of. Yeah, you could do that. And then oh, he sees me and he's like, whoa. Look at all DUI driving and shit. Big old fucking slow and fucking drawn out, sway, fucking swervy turn. These turns are fine. I took this shit like 65. I got Zay Duke's car to drift on one of these turns. I only hit him about 60. Yeah, I come barreling ass through these fucking turns. <laughs> you know what? How I come barreling ass for these fucking turns. You come flying around this oh, one turn and like, road. blam, there's a stop sign. Oh, you can't really get to it from here. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, you can go across it. We should go across it. All right. Just for, like, film's sake. For film's sake? This is the Spencerville Covered Bridge, erected in 1873. And this is some sort of a historical, like, a landmark or monument or something. Le Built in 1873 by John A. McKay, spanning the St. Joseph River, a Smith Trust variant for by Smith Bridge Company, Toledo, Ohio, has remained in use with regular maintenance, repairs, and extensive 1981 restoration, listed in National Register of Historic Places in 1981. St. Joseph River. Oh, well, that's the St. Joe's Covered Bridge. Spencerville Covered Bridge or whatever. It's kind of taking us a little bit out of our way. But I wanted to get to Fort Wayne early enough so that we'd have time to do everything we wanted without being hurried. said rentals, I don't know if they would sell them, but we're gonna break them babies out because come summertime, boy, like mid-summer, like July, when it is that where, where, you gonna, where are you gonna take them to? I don't know, he knows a couple places. I'm thinking up north at fucking uh, Tip of Canoe. Tip of kayak, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic more. Little Walker got traffic light like this here. No traffic's probably easier to negotiate being as the with the uh, stoplights that change quicker and shit. Well, the Milwaukee's like all like stretched out long ways along the coast and like all the business shits around it and all the middles. It's like there's like no gas. It's all like college related, old third ward historical and metered parking everywhere.